What's up, Rob here from Man vs. Pim. Brand new intro, brand new studio. More on that to come, but first, Cindy commented with this pin a couple weeks back. Now this one's been making its way around the Pinosphere for a minute now. It's this really cute f***ing felted rabbit. Now I've personally never felted anything before, but it looks pretty easy. All right, first things first, I ordered all of this crap online. Some felt, some pins, this pen pin thing. 36 bucks for all this shit. Jesus. All right, I got this cream-colored felt here. Uh, I just took that out and kind of tried stretching it uh, and rolling it up or tearing it apart. Uh, um, all right, I don't know what the f I'm doing. Hold on, let me Google some shit. All right, I got it. So I started rolling it into a ball like this. Uh, I took out this crazy pen thing, which has these three little barbed needles on it. And from my understanding, these things help fuse everything together. Uh, and I guess you just stab it, and then until it like forms the shape that you that you want it. Which, in actuality, takes a really long fucking time. They don't tell you this anywhere on the pin or anywhere on the packaging, but this is a fucking forever process. Now I also got these other felting pins that I'm gonna use at the same time. I figure the more pins, the faster this will go, I imagine. God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen, eventually. That is a nice one though. All right, I am apparently not coordinated enough for that. So instead, I'm carefully taping the pins around the pen, like this. I'm gonna call you the Death Delta 5000. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. Fucking taking care of business. Ah, fuck you. Two down. All right, taking it a little bit slower now. Oh, fuck me. Really? God damn it. How does that come out? Maybe just throw some more felt on top? Yeah, great. That's good enough. Rabbit body complete onto its head. I rolled up another piece, stabbed the shit out of it, and of course, stabbed myself in the process. Again. This episode of Man vs. Pin is brought to you by Band-Aid. Comfort cheer for people who felt like assholes. You know what? F*** the Death Felter 5000. This is some dangerous shit. I felt at the head some more with just the regular pen. Oh, really? All right, body and head done. Three fingers out of the game. Now on to the ears, which is a, a whole nother f***ing mystery. I pulled these out of my ass, that's for sure. There you go, ears. I somehow managed to make the arms and the legs, miraculously, and attached them all together. Um, I did this by stabbing through uh, both pieces, uh, thus connecting them. Pretty simple. Ah, fuck. Another finger down. Woohoo! And another. Fuck this pin. All right, this thing is fucking covered in blood. All right, alcohol break. Next, I'm just making a few of the facial features out of the little felted balls, uh, the nose and the cheeks, uh, and attaching those. Now the nose needs a little reddish pink, so I'm just gonna steal a little bit of blood here from uh, one of my fingers. Oh yeah, that looks fucking perfect. I'm adding some indentations for eyes. Uh, definitely something sadistically pleasurable about stabbing a rabbit in the face hundreds of fucking times, but we won't go into that right now. I found some sticky dot eyes, threw those on along with a little cotton tail. And bam, Margera. You got yourself a felt rabbit. Looks just fucking like it. Awesome job, Rob. You fucking rock. Who, me? Yeah, you. I know, I'm pretty good. If you weren't around last Easter, we had a ton of fun here on Man vs. Pin. Uh, you can check out those Easter holiday related videos here or in the description. As you can see, I've got a new set behind me. Corinne and I just moved into a new studio where we have an outside space so we can set things on fire, we can blow things up. So if you got any outdoor pins, let me know about them in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Happy Easter.